Yeah, Dave, truckers may have many questions for the president as well. As you know, truckers have to use diesel to fill up their rigs. Check this out. At this station here in Warren, it's over $4 a gallon. And many say if it gets much higher, they may have to go out of business. It's sticker shock on a whole other level. The price truckers are now paying to fill up their rigs would have anyone doing a double take. And worse, the sky high costs could even put some out of business. Got to where it used to be like $1.98 a gallon when it first started. Now it's up to over four, sometimes like here, 427 a gallon. Some drivers are contractors, so the money doesn't come right out of their pockets. But for those like Matt Prouse, who helps run a family business, the staggering costs fall directly in their laps. There's a lot of owner-operators that are out of the business now because they can't afford the fuel. We have two guys we've hired in the last year that were owner-operators that said uh, they just can't make ends meet anymore. It's starting to affect them personally in their own personal lives, so they don't do it anymore. Ulrich Reichen just got into the trucking business after losing his job at a tool and die plant last year. Check this out. He says last year when he started, it cost him $11,200 to fill up per month. Now it costs about $16,000, and that's just one truck. It's tremendous. It's, it's, uh, I don't know where to go with these prices. It's going to kill everybody. Yeah, you know, like, what can you do? Diesel used to be 50 cents a gallon back when I was a kid. And now look at it now. And somebody's getting rich. And it's not me. It's not these guys out here. And truckers that we talked to tonight say oftentimes the companies that pay them to ship the goods that they're shipping will ultimately pass the extra cost of the fuel down to the consumer. So we can expect higher fuel and food prices down the road. Reporting live in Warren, I'm Tom Way, Channel 7 Action News.